Now from there, I wish I could tell you I got it perfect. There were still some things in my life and in my heart that the Lord needed to break off in the name of Jesus, but we just weren't quite there yet. Looking back, I'm just so incredibly grateful that I did not settle. <music> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melody and I make faith-based content here on YouTube and welcome to episode number three in the Truth Is series here on my channel. So if you are new to the series, hello, hello, welcome. We've had two episodes so far and this series is really all about me, an imperfect Christian, sharing my transparent truth with you guys in regards to different topics in my life as well as my walk with the Lord. I feel like one, it has been very easy for me to kind of hide and not really share what I'm going through. And so this series is an opportunity for me to be transparent with you guys. And number two, I hope it can be encouraging. I know often coming online to social media, it looks like everyone and everything is perfect. And that's not the case. Oftentimes we're all dealing with something. And so I hope by me sharing the different truths of my life and the different truths that I've gone through that you can be encouraged one and also know that you are so not alone. So with all that being said, as you can tell by the title of today's video, I am going to be talking about almost settling. And specifically, I'm gonna be talking about the different ways that I almost settled in relationships. So that's gonna be romantic relationships, but God, okay, God really came through for your girl. <laughs> so let's talk about relationships. Now for me, my relationship history is, is it complicated? I don't know. I don't think it's that complicated, but for everything to make sense, I want to give you guys just some basics. So I have had a relationship with the Lord since I was 23. And after I turned 23 and really started to know God, I definitely started to feel convicted on how to behave in relationships, what to look for, what not to look for. But there were still some things in my life and in my heart that the Lord needed to break off in the name of Jesus, but we just weren't quite there yet. So I have definitely at that point at 23, a track record of really wanting the comfort of a relationship, but also being afraid of commitment. And so I would always be on two ends of the spectrum, either like really not wanting to commit to somebody, but still kind of keep them around, or I would be so incredibly enamored with somebody and they would be kind of on the fence about me. And so when I was living in Korea, I ended up dating somebody. And honestly, my sole driving force of dating this person was wanting to capture the feelings that my ex gave me. And it was really like, I just wanted this person to be someone else, which is incredibly unhealthy. And I knew that God was calling me to stop, just completely stop engaging in this relationship. And I should have known, okay, there were so many, not red flags, but just so many things happening in that relationship that I'd never experienced before. Like having really bad arguments, just not feeling like I could be myself, feeling attacked. And I'm sure the other person on their end felt negatively from experiencing, like dealing with me as well. So it's not just one-sided, but I just wanted it to work so bad. I just wanted, to have that relationship. I just didn't want to be alone. And I was this close to just settling. We had even talked about me staying in Korea after um, my second year and then kind of moving to where he was or maybe traveling around. But at that point, I knew that I wanted to wait until marriage and that was something that he was not feeling. And that kind of was a, I'd say that was a wake up call for me knowing like, okay, God would not ask me to do this, yet give me a spouse or a partner that does not want to do that at all or doesn't even think that's possible. I think there might be something better out there. And that's the first time that I remember just really surrendering something that I wanted to God and deciding to trust him. Now from there, I wish I could tell you I got it perfect, but there were quite a few relationships after that where um, God really had to snatch me up, get me together, and get me to the point where I was able to surrender that area of my life to him. Relationships were a part of my life that I just had a really hard time trusting God in. I think because I just wanted it so bad, I felt like I need to be in control of this area. I will give you finances, I will give you my career, I will give you social media, I will give you my family, I'll give you my health, 
but God, let me keep my relationships. I think I got this and that's honestly so funny because that's the area of my life that I needed the most help in. And I feel like that I've experienced the most growth in because I have been obedient to what God has been calling me to do. Now again, that's not to say I got it right perfectly. So that is just an example of a time back when I had just started my relationship with God where I almost settled. And fast forward to the relationship that I was in. And I say relationship loosely because we kind of just went on some dates, but I was so enamored with this man. And he was the last person that I dated prior to meeting my husband. And I remember when we first met, I thought, wow, if this is not my husband, thank you Lord for allowing me to meet this person because they're giving me hope for what is out there. I had such a lack of hope in what I wanted existing in the world because I literally had never seen it. And I remember when I met this person, I was like, wow, okay, God, okay. Like I have a new level of faith has been unlocked just because this person exists. So that is something that I feel like you might be able to expect on your journey. God will give you just glimmers of hope, whether that's through a person, a situation, a conversation. I feel like God will give us what we need to just keep on going. So while this person was not obviously the person for me, um, there were times in a relationship where I knew that this was not it, but I just wanted it so badly. Everything just progressed really quickly. We spent a lot of time together, talking all the time. He literally would call me in the morning when he woke up on his lunch break. As soon as he got off work, like we were just constantly in communication. But then around two weeks later, he started backing away. And I knew that feeling is so strong personally and so triggering, honestly, of when someone is backing away and you bring it up to them, hey, like things are feeling a little bit different, what's going on? And then they say, oh no, everything's fine, what do you mean? Da -da -da -da. And then you're thinking like, am I crazy? Am I trying to overthink this? Like what's going on? But you know. And that is really what I was walking through and what I was experiencing with this person. And prior to going through that little situation with them, I really thought like, hey God, is this it? Is this my person? Oh my gosh, how exciting. And then that started happening. And then that really unlocked just a confusing, confusing, confusing facet of our relationship. And from there, we kind of started going in circles. I knew what I wanted. I want to be married. I want to have children. I am looking in that direction. And I feel like for this person, they recognized that I was a great person. They recognized that I was a great catch in a sense, but they knew that they weren't really there yet, looking for the same things that I was looking for on the same timeline that I was on. Now I will give it to this person. I feel like once it was really established, like, okay, I'm looking for this and you're looking for that. They did make it clear that, you know, it is what it is. And it was really up to me to decide, like, will I stick around for this knowing that ultimately, you know, maybe someday down the line we'll be in alignment, but right now we're not. Or should I let this go? This thing that I feel like is the closest to what I've been looking for that I've ever experienced and ever encountered. And it took a lot of courage for me, honestly. I wish I could tell you it was super easy, but it wasn't. And I remember sending that one final text, letting them know that I hope they get everything that they're looking for and that I know that I will through Christ Jesus. I almost said it as a joke, but everything that I said has come true. I'm not sure what they have going on in their life, but I knew what I was looking for and I knew that sticking with Jesus, I was going to get that. And that's exactly what I've gotten. A few months after we broke up, I did the Daniel fast and then I met my husband and then kind of the rest is history. Here we are, we have a brand new baby girl. She's literally the love of my life. And looking back, I'm just so incredibly grateful that I did not settle, that I didn't settle for something that I felt like, hey, this might be the best that comes around, not knowing that God has something even greater in store for me if I just submit and surrender my plans over to him. So the only reason I was able to pull myself out of these situations where I was this close to settling was because I had a few things going for me besides my relationship with God. So on top of just trying to stay connected to the Lord as best as I could, I also had mentorship, I had community, and I had tools in my toolbox to just be continuously growing in my relationship with God. I feel like these three things are so incredibly important and that's why they are the pillars of the Created for This Collective paid membership that I am launching at the end of this month.
So as I go through each pillar, I'm gonna be sharing what we're going to be doing in the paid membership club that really supports that, and also how I was able to do that in my life and what that's looked like and just the changes that I'm able to experience because of it. So first things first, community. Now this is something I feel very passionate about because community has made such a difference in my life and I feel like the subscribers that I have here are just an amazing group of women. I love reading through your guys' comments. So with this paid membership club, we are going to have a private Facebook group. We already have one for the For His Glory Sisterhood, but this is going to be much more intimate. We're going to have weekly check-ins. It's going to be community that is meant to inspire, meant to hold you accountable and meant to encourage you on this walk the next thing that we're going to have are tools in our toolbox to be growing in our relationship with god so how i'm able to support this is through master classes each month in the membership club i'm going to be teaching on a different topic and it ranges from something spiritual in regards to how to grow in your relationship with god what obedience looks like in a relationship with christ or how to level up in your prayer life and i'm also going to be talking on different tangible things as well for those women who want to grow their brand or business or grow their ministry. So I'm gonna be tackling things like how to start a YouTube channel, how to level up your social media, how to do a social media audit, things like that. And beyond that, we're also going to be doing monthly challenges. If you guys missed the created for this challenge that I did for the month of March, I definitely encourage you to hop on that. I will have the link down below if you wanna go through that. But it was really, really impactful. The whole point of it was for us to take action throughout the month of March, and we did just that together. And lastly, we have mentorship. So this is something that I'm super excited about because I want to work one-on-one -on -one with you guys to really connect with you guys on a more personal level. So each month in the membership club, we're going to be doing two live calls. So one of them is going to be a Bible study. We're gonna be going through the SOAP method together and we're gonna be reading a different chapter in a book of the Bible together as well. And then we're going to be doing one live Zoom check-in call regarding the monthly challenge. So this is just an opportunity for us again to connect on that one-on-one -on -one basis, to really be able to speak into both of each other's lives and to have that sense of community and belonging amongst each other. On this journey that we're on, I feel like these things, again, are just so incredibly important and impactful. And I'm so excited to be able to provide them through the Created for This Collective Membership Club. So good things are coming, guys. I know I'm super excited and I have a free downloadable for you in the meantime until the club launches. Also in the club, I'm gonna be giving away free downloadables every month. But for this video and for you guys specifically, I have a downloadable that is going to be a five day prayer journal. So through these five days of different prompts for you to go through in your quiet time with the Lord, you're really going to be taking that time to analyze and to really deep dive with him to see, are there any areas of your life where you've settled, where you're almost settling, or where you feel like, okay, thank goodness I didn't settle. I can see God's hand and me being in this place instead of that place. I think it is really a great opportunity. We're almost halfway through the year to just take that time to make sure that you are staying in the will of God and that you are going to be that person that he has called you to be by being obedient so if you want to get this downloadable all you have to do click the link in the description box and again by getting the downloadable you also will be the first to know when the membership club launches now if you guys have any questions about the membership feel free to ask them down below i'm going to be going through everything and i am very very excited to be launching this very very soon all right guys it is now your turn you know i can't end the video without doing this so in the comments below on top of asking any membership club questions i would love to know are there any areas in your life where you feel like you were this close to settling let us know what really snapped you out of it how did god get you what happened what did that look like for you i look forward to reading through your comments definitely encourage you guys to take a second to leave a comment or to also scroll through and see what everyone else is saying as well i love you guys and i will see you in my next video next wednesday peace